Oh, you guys. It's always so funny to me when people do that. Like, you know damn well I came in here to set up this camera. To then shut the door and act like, oh, I'm just coming out to my car for the first time. You know? But I do it anyway. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I decided I'm going to do another little vlog. Probably a couple or a few day vlog. A uh, few days vlog. A vlog for the next few days. Gosh, I cannot talk today. I was thinking about going to my brother's house so we can taste test some of these new energy drinks I got. Um, this company, C4, sent these to me and it comes with, like this particular pack, comes with three different flavors. And my brother is obsessed with like energy drinks and like working out and all that. So I figured who better to taste test with than my brother. So. Hopefully if he's home, I will stop by and we'll do a little taste test after that. But first things first, Walmart. Also, new camera will be here tomorrow. Are we so sick of hearing me talk about how shitty this camera is? I know I'm sick of it, but I just cannot wait for the new camera. It'll be here tomorrow. So I'm at Walmart right now and I was just on the phone actually with AT&T for like 30 minutes because for some strange reason I could not call my dad for like the past week it wouldn't even like ring I would just hit his name and it would just go beep 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 and hang up it's like <laughs> rude so we got that all squared away now I can call my dad um also I purposely did not check in here at Walmart until like after I was well I was going to check in after I was off the phone but even though I didn't check in he came up to my window anyway and we got our order we ordered two of these sets. Um, it's just goggles and a snorkel because I think I mentioned it in a video, one of my try on hauls, because I was talking about bathing suits and like beachwear. Um, Carlos and I got invited to a wedding in Hawaii for next month, at some point next month. So we're gonna go. We figured we have not been anywhere in over a year. We're both vaccinated. We have to get COVID tested before, still, you know, before we board the plane. Um, Hawaii doesn't let just anybody in during this time so um we're gonna go support our friends they're having like the smallest smallest wedding so um we're gonna go for a couple days to hawaii which will be kind of nice and we're just gonna do socially distant activities one of which is finding a secluded beach and going snorkeling <laughs> so got that i'm about to head to my dad's right now um to taste test these drinks i'm like really excited about it and my brother is excited too he has not stopped bugging me about it for the past few days. So that is where we are headed. Hey, sweet boy. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long. <laughs> God, you, ooh, it smells good in here. <laughs> she heard there's a health month sale. <laughs> All right. Am I supposed to be putting the food away or what? No, you could eat. I don't care. All right, let's just fucking get it going, BB. We're trying each flavor? Yeah. Is that all right? Mm-hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't need this one. All right, so these are the drinks. They're the C4 Energy. I'm getting a new camera tomorrow because this one does not focus, and I say it in every video, like a hundred times. People are so sick of me. So it just says it's naturally sweetened, incredible taste with natural sweeteners and flavors. Mental focus. So I got this little tester pack. It's no sugar, no calories, zero carbs. Wow. We got grapefruit, blackberry, and cherry lime. Which one do you want to taste first? Let's go with the... Uh... He's having his lunch. Let's go with don't, grapefruit. Don't mind him. You said grapefruit? Did I say grapefruit? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> that was, that was hoping you did. Okay, we're gonna go with grapefruit. Taking me back to my college days right now. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta taste it at the exact same time. And then we have to rate one to 10, 10 being, wow, that's bomb. Like on the spot or wait till we drink them all? No, on the spot, you do. Okay. And then we'll, we'll reconvene later. Cheers. Cheers Salud. to that. Oh, shit. 
Oh, I like how smooth that is. Mm -hmm. It's like smooth. very. It has flavor. Maybe because it's warm. But though. it's kind of like light. Yeah, these are warm. These are warm, so My I bad. think it kind of calms that, which I like. Mm. Yeah, that might be a good idea in the future for drinking this stuff warm. These carp. Excuse me. I carbon. typically am not like the biggest grapefruit fan, but that is actually really good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you rate it? Did you give it a number? Oh yeah, <laughs> forgot. Eight. I'm gonna go with an. I'm gonna go with a seven point eight. A seven point eight. But it's subject to change. Shit. Once I taste these other okay. flavors. Cherry lime or blackberry. Like we're we're basing this just on flavor because as far as performance. Correct. We don't we know gotta yet. let that play out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's you go. You pick. You okay, know. I'm gonna go with. Let's try blackberry. <gasps> Don't tilt dad. Spilled on his table. <laughs> blackberry. Oops. Alright. Wow. I you really. Filled that to the brim. I know I did my wow. bad. Ooh. I like this one a little better. Me too. I had to leave room for improvement with that grapefruit one. Yeah. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> this one is really good. I I like I'm not even kidding. I like this one. Mmm. Yeah, that one's a little better than the grapefruit. I give that one a nine. Whoa. I'm gonna go 8.4. Oh, hi. You want a whittle too? Definitely utilizing that tenth. That nine. Tenth. Wait, what'd you give that it? Tens decimal uh, place. Tenth. I was drooling. You What'd you? <laughs> I gave it an eight point four. What was your other one? A seven point eight. Seven point eight. God, you're making it hard to remember. Okay, the last one is cherry lime. Oh, this one's gonna knock my socks off. I could just feel like. I was Woo! surprised cherry at lime that is black a good berry one. When done properly, cherry limeade can really just touch you in places Smack that you in. never wish. <laughs> Smacks you right into the next county. <laughs> I heard that, baby. I heard that. Damn, they just get better and better. I know. We did that. In, we in, really. In, that was the perfect order. Wow. You want to try some? Not really. <laughs> this uh, one just. Are those mm. sugar-free ones? They're all sugar-free. Oh. And yeah. we didn't drink off of it. We just poured it into these little guys. Yeah. Uh, one right there. Yeah. Huh? I don't know. Uh, I got someone to ask if biscuit. Come on. Chewy okay. biscuit, chewy biscuit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Those are good. Okay, so rating in order, I would say grapefruit was last, then blackberry, then cherry lamb. Mm -hmm. We Chur didn't give this a number, but I give this a just a straight nine. I would say nine point six. <laughs> Might just Got shotgun those. this when, uh, Dude, it's so when good. that camera turns Okay, so you can have all of these. Hopefully they don't go flat. Can you put saran wrap or something on them with a rubber band? Yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> All <laughs> right, well, shit. Thanks, C4. I loved them. C4, you guys keep killing it. You know what? This is their Instagram. Wait, hold on. My friend is sponsored by C4. No fucking way, who? Uh, Thorin Bradley. This, it's like, do you have a girlfriend's Hey, video? Thorin, brother. Shout out. UOP alum, baby. University of the Pacific. Stockton, California. He wishes he had a body like that. He's actually pretty jacked. I know. <laughs> he looks good. I know. I follow him on TikTok. Okay, so this is their Instagram. If you guys want to follow them, I will have all the information on these items listed down below. Go check it out. That was fun. I knew you were going to come over here. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. All right, I like these. All right, love you, bye. All right, love you guys. Love you. So I just got home and grabbed this uh, 90 set of cookies. This is how I typically package my cookies with a little thank you card, pretty much just saying to, you know, tag me on Instagram and, you know, thank you so much for your order. And then my business card, of course. And I tie it all up with a bow and I have my little sticker on the side. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little ingredients list in the back so that you totally could not see that there's my little ingredients sticker so I am going to go drop this off to my friend right now and then I'm coming back and I should be home for the night what's up y'all next day it is a Friday happy Friday 
I, it's actually five o'clock. I'm really getting a late start to this vlog today, but I know it's gonna be probably like a weekly vlog. I have been working on cookies all day, just lounging. I've got a good workout in this morning, which was nice. And that's pretty much it. I got some packages actually to the door and I wanted to show you guys what I got. I got a couple things last night when we were running errands, so I'll show you guys what I got. I'll give you guys an update on the charger plates as well. Um, but first things first, let's open these packages. This one I believe is my new camera. Woo woo woo! So I can give Carlos this one I'm vlogging on now and go back to the Mark II. I think that is so crappy. Like, Canon, you need to get it together, my friend. Like, what do we think is going on? Because it's ridiculous that people have to go down a model. It's so beautiful. This is my Canon G7X Mark II. If you guys missed the last vlog or missed any of my Vlogmas videos, I had filmed all of my vlogs on my Mark II for years. And on Christmas Eve, actually you guys were like right where you're at now, but you were on the crappiest little tripod ever. One of the legs gave out, you guys took a tumble, and the lens bent, would not go back in, ruined. They said we don't really repair them, and it had been five years, so it was no longer under warranty. So I decided to go out that day, because I couldn't miss a Vlogmas video, went out that day to Best Buy, and upgraded actually to the Mark III instead of the Mark II, which was a pretty penny, but it was worth it in my in my mind. So it wasn't worth it. I made a mistake. And I tried giving it a shot and before you knew it, it was too late to return. So here we go, back to the Mark II. Carlos said he doesn't vlog very much, but he's been wanting a vlogging camera. So he said he'll take this one. And then he bought me, which was so sweet, the Mark II. It is freaking beautiful. This is like the best vlogging camera ever. So if you guys are in the market, I know like Amazon has them. That's where I got mine the first time, I believe. He ordered this one from QVC because you can do like the easy payments where they don't charge interest. So that is my first package, such an exciting one. I'll get that all set up and probably switch it out here after I show you guys my next package. I have told myself, that I need to invest in shoes because I shouldn't have nothing but slip-on vans. And then they get so dirty and then I don't wash them and I just look like a hot mess at all times. Um, or I buy super cheap, cheap, cheap sandals. Like they're cute, don't get me wrong, but they're cheap and they don't last very long. So I've told myself to start investing in a little bit maybe more expensive shoes that will last longer and Maybe like staple shoes that aren't gonna like go out of season like next year, you know? So I saw these online and I just had to have them. I went in store and tried them on. They only had them in white in store in my size. So I, and I wanted them in black. Maybe eventually I'll get the white, but Doc Martens and I know what you're thinking, but just hold your horses. How adorable are these little platform sandals? Are you joking me? <laughs> I'm gonna be styling. I'm usually a size 10, but I got these in a nine. They run like kind of big. There's nothing I love more in this world than a good platform shoe. Like there is just nothing in the world I love more. So they are platform, they're very lightweight, super comfortable. I just cannot get enough of these. They are so cute like i said they also had them in white and they have doc martin sandals in other styles as well they have some that just have like they don't have this back strap they just have the three and then they have some i believe with two so they have a good amount of styles they're definitely not like cheap by any means they were 99 dollars. i had a 10 percent off so it came to 90 but then tax Brought it right back up to 100 so I spent $100 on these shoes, but you know what? They will last a lifetime, and I love them. They'll look cute with literally anything. Skinny jeans, a skirt, a dress. They're just so cute, so I cannot wait to start wearing these. Okay, so I ran to Starbucks like 15 minutes ago. I actually just got back like five minutes ago, 
and I wanted to get some gifts for my staff because we have spent over a year home like teaching from home and they've worked so hard and I just freaking love all of them so when we go back I just wanted to get them like just a little something something like a little welcome back gift so I got them each a reusable one of these like hot coffee cups with the lid obviously but it I'm gonna cricket it so I'm gonna like put their name on it or like do some sort of a design having to do with school and then I also got wow I also got them each no that's for something else I got them each a little gift card that I'm gonna probably put in the cup so just and then I got a bunch of bags because I like keeping the theme the same you know like I want the bag to match the gift and the gift card to match the gift all it's just like a whole thing I'm excited to try to cricket them my friend does this like for like a little like side job her name is Brie her Etsy shop is teacher Brie shop I'll leave her linked below if you guys are interested she makes the cutest cups like I'm gonna throw some images up here on screen she is unreal amazing like every day I swear she's coming out with new designs and it's like she's just so creative super fast shipping super nice like quick speedy customer service I've ordered from her numerous times and she's just the best so and she also does really fun bridal boxes so it'll be like a cute little box that she'll put like a customized one of these She'll customize one of these. She'll do like a little ring dish and like a couple other things. And it's just a one-stop shop bridal box. So if you know anybody that's getting married or you're getting married and want to treat yourself, you need one. I, I got a customized cup from her. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, I ordered this one a long time ago. There's no lid on it right now, but it's just a gold wedding ring. And then on the back, it says Miss Martinez. I love this and I don't know how many times I've run it through the washer and it's still in pristine condition. I was always under the impression that you weren't supposed to dishwash these and maybe you're not when you do vinyl on it, but I mean, I'm not hand washing anything. Okay, so I got those and then I also got just a few of these because I wanna try cricketing some of these as well for gifts. So that was what I got today from Starbucks. Now I want to show you guys and give you a little update on the charger plate Michaels situation. If you guys did not watch the last vlog, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So I suggest you stop this video right now, go watch that because that will clarify everything. So as we know, Michaels decided to ship charger plates in the worst way I ordered 144 plates and 102 of them, I believe it was, came broken. So, I mean, that sucks, right? So I decided to call the 800 number and talk to them instead of going in person because the fact that I would have to lug all of those back to the actual store, that was just not happening. That was just totally not happening. So I called them. The lady on the other end was so apologetic. Like it made me feel so good because sometimes I talk to people when I call it customer service and they truly just do not care. Like why would they care, you know? So she cared so much, like so much. And she said she's going to reship out, you know, the proper amount plus a few extra in case they come broken. She said she's going to reach the shipping department and ask what they think is going on here asked them to package it a little bit better. And then she also said she was going to refund me 10% just for my trouble. So that was so nice of her. So, I mean, I got a pretty good deal at the end of the day because I had already used a coupon and then I had gotten $16 off and now I got another 10% off. So we shall see. I'm hoping, I, you know what? I will vlog. Even if I start the vlog that second when the next Michael package shows up because I feel like some of you guys are real invested in these charger plates as am I. So I still need to go through all of the plates and pick out the broken ones and toss them and then, you know, separate the good ones. So what I did was I went to Joann's Fabrics. Let me actually set you guys up. So I went to Joann's and I got four yards of fleece. I just got the cheapest, whatever was on sale. They only had, I think this was like a dollar a yard because it was on clearance or maybe $2 a yard. So I, they only had two yards. So I got this and then 
This one was, I think, $3.99 a yard. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them into squares and put them in between each plate when I package them away. I also got from Lowe's like big plastic tubs. So between the fleece and the plastic tubs, I think they should be safe for storing and then bringing them to the venue. So maybe in a vlog one day, I will cut all of this up for you and layer all of the plates. But I, I had to do something because I didn't want any more plates to freaking be ruined. <laughs> because I've had enough trauma with these damn charger plates. So this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. This has been like a go-to of mine. It's kind of like my own take on like a poke bowl. Um, it is white rice. Usually I do half a cup, but I've only eaten breakfast today and it's already five o'clock. So I did one cup of rice and then I do one can of tuna in water, which is like 90 calories. This time I did like half a cup of the imitation crab. A lot of times I'll do some like sauteed shrimp bomb and then i sauteed some zucchini and onions i put a little avocado on the top and then just topped it with a little soy sauce and some sriracha and then sesame seeds but it is so freaking good it's kind of like i don't know a healthier poke bowl it's just so freaking good and super super filling and it can definitely be like super super protein packed depending on like what you put in here so this is what I'm putting in here tonight because this is just what I had but like I said shrimp in this thing is so good seaweed salad would be delicious I mean the sky is the limit but this is gonna be my dinner tonight so I'm gonna go sit on the couch and enjoy <laughs> So I'm just picking out the good plates and layering them with the uh, fleece that I cut up and putting the questionable plates here. Like this one isn't that bad, but also there is a scratch. Same with this one right here it has a little nick. So questionable will go here. Uh, cracked ones obviously will go into the garbage and then I'm gonna uh, finish layering these good ones. All right, so these are all of the good ones that have just about no damage done to them. As you can see, I layered the, um, I always wanna call it felt, the fleece in between each one so they won't get scratched up, especially when we're taking these to sack. And then, uh, unfortunately, they won't fit side by side, so we're gonna have to put other wedding decor here. But once the other Michaels package comes with the new plates we will get the rest filled up i'll probably have to go get more uh fleece also so coming together isn't it i guess yeah why do you guess uh i mean we just put them in a bucket but yeah it's coming together oh uh, yeah it's really coming together <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually a couple days later and I realized as I was editing this vlog that I forgot to film an outro so here I am filming the outro I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I have fun video ideas coming up but I need your guys's opinion so don't forget to follow me there um, also don't forget to check the description box for all the good stuff and I'll see you guys in my next video bye